Yes, be our friends, my people, now welcome to this channel. On the bar, yeah, great enough for wherever on a day. Welcome to this channel where we will give now bonge updates on waiting they happen for Biafra territory and how the zoo they enter begin. When we always talk say Nigeria they always breed criminals. If you say you won't fight Nigeria from within, you they suffer yourself. They will just waste you. You will just be gone and forgotten. And you will leave your loved ones here to just bear the consequences and the pain of the zoo. Now this man, the chairman of Victoria Garden City, where they try to Make sure say Victoria Gardens is in a safe place. They just buy the man. Make me listen to this man waiting this confession. This man do. Where they make sure see they they silent in life. I'll call it a fact uh, that we live amongst criminals. Um, this community has north of ten thousand people. There have always been criminals amongst us. What we've tried to do in recent times is make things extremely uncomfortable for them. Um, I can tell you that there have been people who have come to the management office and said to the GM, we're moving out of this your estate, or if we drive a big car, your chairman will call NDLE or EFCC. Um, and that tells you that criminals are uncomfortable uh, in VGC today. For instance, um, I won't speak too much about our security apparatus, but if you notice, when you come into VGC now, you see two cameras that are lit up. Every single number plate that enters this community today is in a database. We're able to match those number plates to timelines. We know who's coming, when they came. We have access to over 150 cameras now where we can see in real time everything that happens. And these cameras are so good that we can use face recognition. It is becoming extremely uncomfortable. A lot of the issues that we faced in the last two months, we have faces, we have timestamps, we have vehicles, and we're investigating thoroughly. One of the things we've done different is we're working with the agencies in Nigeria. The agencies have struggled with implementing anything within the communities on the axis. Coming in alone to effect an arrest is a very difficult thing. We've opened those borders as long as it is a, a genuine investigation. Uh, for instance, you mentioned uh, Yahoo Boys kidnappers. I can tell you that over 30, in quote unquote, Yahoo Boys have been arrested in the last three months inside this community. I can't tell you how many people with drugs have been arrested in this community. Um, and you mentioned kidnapping. A kidnapper was, was arrested in this community, he owns a very big home and built the house. In fact, I saw him when he was on site building the house. And one day the DSS come here to look for him saying he's a kidnapper uh, that has come into Lagos. So they're here. But what we're doing is we're making it very uncomfortable for them. Uh, because I think over the years, um, PGC was seen as this haven uh, where you can, you can hide your criminality. It's no longer business as usual. Um, if you notice, even when I speak, uh, I send a lot of warnings. Uh, that is part of zero tolerance on, on, on criminality. People come here to live peacefully. Uh, people come here to retire. Uh, so it's important to us uh, that uh, the people are secure. So the committees are working. Um, a lot of things are going on and have been going on in the last two months. And I, if you remember, when we embarked on the CCTV project, I said the most difficult thing we're facing is we're gathering the intelligence, but we have no data, no faces, no timestamps. And those things are now available. So I can tell you that VGC will be safer. There was an incident that happened, um, I just got the update this morning, where uh, someone jumped into a resident's house. They came from the water, and these are petty thieves. Um, that house was targeted and robbed before. But the difference this time, and the resident was, was the one attesting to it, is we're able to call him and say, someone just jumped into your house, and then we rushed there. And he said to us, the difference between the first time I got robbed and this time is that you could see when someone was coming in. Um, so we even have shields. 
um, security shields where at night, if you pass certain parts of VGC, it triggers and we know that there's someone there and we're able to watch. Uh, so a number of things are changing. Um, so you will be better secure. Criminals will always exist where you must make things very uncomfortable uh, for them to thrive within your community. Uh, thank you. Um, of course, Ms. Ayansi, thank you very much for your comments. Uh, you commented on, on the codes um, as uh, the first point of a security lapse. Um, you're correct. You are correct. And, and we're trying uh, better creative ways to ensure that these codes cannot be given out. Uh, we did a number of things. For one, having one account per house, uh, even though that email can be shared. Um, even that is not working effectively enough because you have residents who have turned uh, parts of their house into shortlets and, and all sorts of uh, uh, chalets and things that give out uh, these um, access. So we have to figure out more ways. And the beauty of technology is that we can actually trace these things. So it's a work in progress because if you remember, um, we embarked in our first term on building our own app within VGC. Part of the reason we did that was to be able to create those controls uh, because we notice in other communities, um, even the information on how you come and go, sometimes it's being shared with criminals. But in VGC, we 100% own ours. Uh, so we're able to protect your data, your movement. So we need to figure out strategic ways to use that uh, to our advantage. Uh, so that is work in progress. And GM, I think we'll talk a bit more with the security committee and the developers on ways to uh, deal with that. Um, on drug abuse, um, this one is an extremely personal one for me. Um, in fact, currently I'm working with the with LESA to deal with the issue on the access because um, VGC is hit hard by drug abuse, we see it. Um, one of the things we started um, in our first term is we started to arrest users and interrogate them. So a number of residents' kids, you know, we picked them up, um, investigated where they were getting the where they were getting the drugs from. Um, there's a lot of things uh, again, Mr. Ben, that have gone into the eradication of drugs, which I cannot mention here. Um, but we've, we've, we've created a lot of strides. Uh, there have been a lot of strides. Uh, as you know, you mentioned uh, labs. Um, it will interest you to know that part of our investigation is we started buying drugs as a way to find out where they were coming from. And in buying, we found out that it was production. Um, so all of these are investigations that we've been doing. Like I said, it's an extremely personal one to me because I see what it's doing to these kids. Uh, we get called out to a lot of homes in VGC where parents are... Yes, now we come back from that presentation by this man. And now he's gone and forgotten. Nigeria has happened to him. When we tell and say the only way for that zoo to progress and division and some Yorubas, especially those Yoruba people, they, they incarnated into wickedness where they know make that zoo divide. Another update now yesterday, another while happened for Enugu State where eight men they buy four people for the community. If now hear from previous broadcasts where I don't drop for you of Prime Minister, Prime Minister not say sometimes he don't send men go this community. And these people they always sabotage or they sabotage the effort of this of BLA there. Yeah. So sometimes some people need to learn the hard way. Maybe when they don't learn now, when next time we Prime Minister send BLA come there, they go no see these people they here to protect them and to guide them. But we know say Prime Minister, they always promise all this Janja Say This one will be three years ago, no be four years ago. When you come by, people will go scot free. Because at this time around, now fire for fire, anything with that crown will go face on our back. I want to say Prime Minister, I will respond to this one. I will rest my case.